Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Mackie's Toys. Today I'm going to be doing, um, let's see, Volcano Slime. And what does that mean? Well, I'll explain. First, a little tidbit. Baking soda in the cup with a very high concentration of citric acid. I'm going to see if slime will bubble like that using baking soda and water with also the citric acid but also making the slime. Let's find out. Oh. Crazy Art School Glue. Or not school glue, but clear glue. And... Red food coloring, because why not? Well, more so because it's gonna look like lava. I mean, I think. And then now we're going to add the baking soda and water. I do believe this is baking soda. Okay. So now I want to go and pour out any excess liquid. Okay, so this is a little more firm than normal, and that's actually no, it's not. It's actually quite perfect. Okay, so. Um, So yeah, let's get to uh, adding the citric acid to it. Throw it in the cup because, you know, don't want to end up ruining anything because I'm not sure how this is going to react. So, citric acid. There's a very high concentration. Uh, as you can see, there's still undissolved crystals in there, so... Wow, it just, well, I mean, like, it just completely eats the slime up. I guess this is good if you, like, if you clog up a drain or something with the slime, you just add citric acid. But, I was kind of hoping for a bigger, kind of like a, you know, like a, 
a massive reaction, but... Hmm. I don't know if I want to touch it or not. I don't know if it's going to burn my fingers. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend touching it. Just, just in case. But, yeah. So citric acid dissolves slime. I mean... At least slime mixed with baking soda. Maybe we should find out if it dissolves the glue.